Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Walden. We are going to be working on um, today math. We're going to be working on um, comparing two things based on its capacity. Now, capacity is a new word. Um, so say capacity with me. Capacity. So capacity is how much something holds. A lot of the times when we think about capacity of something, we're thinking about um, a liquid, like how much water it can hold, or um, it could even be like how many beans it could hold. Okay, so what we're going to look about look at today, we're going to be looking at um, how much water something can hold. So I've got my different cups here. I've got some different sized cups, um, and then we have... Um, our measuring tools. Now, some of the tools that we use when we are using, um, when we are um, talking about capacity, measuring capacity, and how much something holds, are some of the tools that mom and dad might use when they're cooking, which is a measuring cup or a measuring spoon. Okay, these are different sizes. This one's a cup. Um, there's smaller ones. This one's a cup or a measuring cup. Okay, so I've got my two cups of water here. So, when I was do, setting this up, um, I took my smallest um, cup and I put as much water as I could in it. And it held two cups of water, which was this. Two cups of water. Or, if I was using my measuring spoon or my measuring cup here, it would be two of these. Okay, because this is a cup, one cup. So, two of these um, is the same as my measuring cup, which is two cups. Okay, if you can see right there on that line, it says two cups, and that's where my water is. Now, I want you to take a look at these three cups. I want you to think about which one can hold the most. Do you think this one, because it's the tallest? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. So, we've got our two cups of water here, and we already know that this one is full with two cups of water, okay? So, let's see how high this one will fill up with two cups of water. Do you think it's going to fill it up all the way? Do you think it's going to fill it up to right here? Because that's where this cup goes to. Now I want you to look. This cup is wider than our Spider-Man cup. Okay, can you see it's a little bit wider? So let's see if that makes a difference. So I'm going to take my two cups of water and I'm going to pour it into my Spider-Man cup. It fills it right to the tippy top. I don't know if you can see it kind of reflecting. Now, wait a second. So now you noticed that this cup is taller than this cup, right? So you would think that this cup could hold more than two cups because this cup holds two cups of water. Now, the difference between this cup, our Mickey Mouse cup, and our Spider-Man cup is our Spider-Man cup is skinnier. Okay, and our, our um, Mickey Mouse cup is wider. Okay, so that also depends on, it's not always just the tallest cup. Okay, it depends on how wide it is, if it's the same um, same width, right? It, that, that changes. So, we've got our two cups here. Now I'm going to pour my two cups into my um, clear cup. Now, do you think that it's going to fill the clear cup up all the way, or do you think it's going to fill it to here? Let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to try very carefully not to spill any. There we go. Okay. Now, it's kind of about the same, isn't it? So that tells me that these two cups are about the same size, but the height is a little different, right? Because we know that this cup is a little taller, okay? So this is two cups, the same two cups that we had in here that was completely full, and then also completely filled this cup. I didn't change any water, right? Um, and actually, I'll pour it back in the Mickey Mouse cup so that you can see that it was the same amount, okay? Because you didn't get to see that just yet. Be careful not to overflow. It is right there at that tippy, tippy, tippy top. Okay, can you see it's right there at the tippy, tippy top? I'm going to be very careful not to spill any. Okay, I'm going to pour it back into my um, clear cup, and then we're going to pour it into our tall cup. Now, this is our tallest cup, 
And at the beginning, you guys thought that this one would hold um, the most, okay? So let's take a look. We knew that this one, the two cups, we had a little bit of space, right? So we know that these two hold the exact same. These two both hold two cups. Ooh, I did it without spilling. Okay, so now let's take a look to see what um, this one can hold. We see that it's got a little bit of space left. Okay, so let's open up my container. And let's pour it on in and see what we have. Let's see if I can do it without. There we go. Oops. Wait a second. I'm going to pour it into here. It's starting to spill it a little bit. And now we can pour it into here without spilling. Oops. Okay, and this water kind of made a mess a little bit. That's okay. So, we see that it looks like it's got more water in it, doesn't it? Okay? But we know... It is the same two cups, okay? But the difference is, because it almost fills all the way up here. It's kind of hard to see it, okay? The water's right here. It fills up a little bit more than this clear cup did because this bottle is skinnier than our clear cup, right? And it's definitely skinnier than our Mickey Mouse cup, which is why it looks like it has more water in it, even though it's the same two Okay, pretty tricky, but you could use this with um, rice, you could use it with flour, with sugar, with um, beans, okay? You see how many cheese um, goldfish can fit in a cup, right? And see which cup can hold more goldfish, okay? And then maybe eat them after. So experiment a little bit, maybe not water so you don't make a mess everywhere. Make sure you ask mom or dad or whoever's watching you first before you start making a mess. Okay, we always got to clean up. Um, but yeah, try to experiment with capacity and see which holds more. It's not always which one you think it is, right? We thought this one was going to hold the most. Um, but it doesn't look like it will because it is skinnier. So keep an eye out for um, capacity. Keep practicing and we will be 